an ABC News exclusive. The South Carolina son and mother who were gunned down. We're going to hear from their family for the first time in just a moment. Eva Pilgrim is there in Columbia, South Carolina with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. On the day of those murders, Alec Murdoch had just taken his dying father back to the hospital and he went to check on his mother. His family tells us when he returned to his home, he made that gruesome discovery. He's a very caring person. And she was the rock of their family. This morning, members of the Murdoch family speaking for the first time since their brother Alec Murdoch found his 22 year old son Paul and his wife Maggie shot to death outside their South Carolina home last week. I got a call from, from Alec Monday night. And as soon as I had the phone, I knew something was wrong. Oh, man. He just told me. He said, come as fast as you can. Paul and Maggie have been hurt. His voice, the fear, he was just distraught. No arrests have been made, no suspects named. The Murdochs issuing a plea for help this morning. But the person that did this is out there and there's information, however big or however small it is. Did they have any enemies? I really don't know of any enemies. You hear all this talk on the, you know, social media with regard to Paul, but I don't know of anybody no. that would truly, that would truly be an enemy or truly want to harm them. Paul Murdoch had been awaiting trial, accused of being under the influence in 2019 while crashing a boat, killing 19-year-old passenger Mallory Beach. He had pleaded not guilty in the case. The Murdochs telling us Paul had been receiving threats from strangers, people they say they didn't know. Were they, you know, violent threats? I didn't think it was a credible threat. If it was, I would have tried to do something or notified someone. Mm -hmm. But I guess, you know, maybe I made a mistake. The Murdochs are one of the most prominent families in South Carolina, part of the legal establishment going back almost a century. Three generations of Murdochs held a solicitor's job in this region for years. They also own a prominent law firm where Randy and Alec currently work today. Some in the community questioning if the family used their connections to protect Paul the night of the boat crash. Do you think anyone in your family interfered in any way? I don't. Do you feel like the, some of the perception of your family has been wrong? Yes. I see words like dynasty used and power. And I don't know exactly how people use those words, but we're just regular people and we're hurting just like they would be hurting if this had happened to them. This morning, this tight knit family holding on to each other. How's your brother doing? He's upright and looks strong and making his way and then and he just breaks down and just, I mean, it's tough for us. It changes you as a family. And I can't imagine the horror that my brother's experiencing. Now, our team did see state law enforcement sled out near a swamp near that crime scene, searching that area, and they have set up a dedicated tip line just for this case through Crime Stoppers. TJ. All right, Eva Pilgrim for us this morning. Eva, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.